Hi friends, welcome. We will continue learning our uh, PDF document creation using Python's report lab. And now we will learn how we will install different types of fonts and use it in our PDF document. So we can create some Arabic, Hindi or any other language different different PDF documents. But before we move my request is please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. So you will be notified as and when we add tutorials. Let's start the script. This is our uh, Visual Studio code. You can use your own uh, editor, whatever you want to use. Let's first paste the modules what you are using here. So you can see first you are using OS or the operating system. This is a part of the Python core. So it's nothing to do with report lab. So this we are using to find out the folders and all the file and folder management we can do by using this particular uh, module. Now then our report lab, then some modules of canvas letter. We have earlier also we have used them and these two models you probably will be first time using PDF matrix and TTF font because we had to register the font with uh, our report lab. So for that purpose these are we are using. Now let's come first our task is to identify where the font directory is. So this is not same as your case or my case. This will be different areas what, wherever Python is installed. So based on that. So let me just start with the font library. Sorry, the folder where my report lab is. So OS, this is where the operating system module comes into place. So OS path. <coughs> now we'll say day, day IR name. So it will find out my diary uh, directory name. Now what I am going to do here is I will find out the report lab where it is installed underscore two underscore file again two underscore. So now I will hold the folder where my report lab is. So inside this folder there will be a subfolder funds. I will create that path. So let's just uh, Fold, I'll give a different name, folder font, fine. Now here equal to, now this is what I am going to give is, I will OS path join. So to this earlier, whatever I had, so earlier folder, so this is the here, whatever we have got it at line number eight that we are using. And to that we are here, we are just adding the fonts. So we know that this our uh, subdirectory name is fund. So wherever it is the folder is just get the uh, get, get join the funds directory sub fund subdirectory to it. Now one important thing is for you I will advise is print this particular path. That's all. So what happens? We'll get a complete path of where the our fund directory is. This is not same in all different different system will have different. Now let's run this and use this path. So let's me run this. Yeah, here it is. In my case, it will be different in your case. I will just copy this. The Windows Explorer. Here it is. Now if you are somewhere else, you can just click this home and so you will uh, you'll reach here. Now here you can see it is written home here. To the right of it, just click there. Now you are allowed to paste the uh, path, whatever you have copied, paste it here. Now click. So you are, we are now inside our fund directory, report lab, the fund directory is there. All the available funds are here and we will be adding, if whatever we download it, we will be adding it here. Note that this path is not same in your case or my case, it will be different. That is why we have copied the path output and that we have used here. Come here or you can search anywhere else, just try for aerobic fund, I am just Searching here, Arabic, here it is, I am just, uh, here you can just download this. Zip file, it will be downloaded to your local folder, shortly the download will, yeah, here it is, save it, I have already downloaded it, so it is available, just save it. Double click this zip file inside this Arabic you can extract all and note that inside this you will get a two TTF files so regular let's see this particular one true type font this TTF file is important you can extract and copy this file to our font folder what you have kept it that there what you have uh, earlier we have opened it I'll just show you here 
inside this you just paste it extract and paste it here you can see already we have done that so it is here here it is this particular one will be using it also and any other font many different types of fonts are there oria hindi anything you can try once our font is ready or it is installed now it is time to register the font with our report lab just moving up a bit now fine so what you will say is custom font now that particular font will add now to the our path equal to os dot path now here we are saying join now two things we have to join earlier we have already joined the full subfolder name that is uh, here the funds one so folder font will take it now we'll say for that folder font now to this i will add our arabic dot ttf note that i have just slightly changed the file name there in the in the folder so it was arabic space regular i have just done it you can change it to anything but note that this correct file name you place it here otherwise you'll get an error message i will dis discuss that also so fine that's uh, what you have got it now custom font i am just registering it uh, with this so i am saying tt f uh font so this is what at the top we have what it line number six here you can see that is what i am using now inside this i am saying a big so this is what i actually at the top what you are we are written here so i am just uh, using that custom font wait so here custom font now i got one uh, line here now then i will register it with report lab so pdf matrix pdf matrix is is available here just above we have uh, included this particular module pdf matrix dot register font okay now c font up to this point our registration is over i will just request you save this run it once because if you this particularly you have any issue with this file and all you will get a error message let me just run it fine it is the earlier whatever the print command it was giving that's what so so far nothing means this font is registered uh, let me just comment this line print is not required if i'll change this file name i am likely to get a get a different error message i have just intentionally changed this file name you if you are getting you just see this particular uh, can't open file this all this thing if you are getting that particular uh, error then check the file in particular name or whether the codes are used or not fine so i have got it here now we'll come to our standard whatever we are using to generate our pdf document this we have already discussed several times this is the path where my final output will be testing subdirectory then my file name is my pdf dot pdf you change it based on your uh, system so wherever you want to store the generated file so c equal to canvas this is our uh, old uh, means previously also we discussed my path this is the path what you declare above uh, page size page size is here it is we are using letter because we have imported it at the top a4 whatever you want to use it here it is the letter so whatever you want to use it uses now bottom up bottom up equal to zero you want to one also zero or one so based on which side the y coordinate will be right from the top or from the bottom that you can decide by giving this value so fine now our canvas is ready c now here is the key point set font now what i am saying here is arabic and the size i am giving is 16 you can increase it now you see this name whatever i called it this must match you here fine because that is how i am calling it set font is arabic 16 now that's all now a one message i am just a string variable you can directly write it also fine the message is there now this message i will print in arabic so that's what is my intention i am just moved up now c draw string c draw string here it is let me write fine now where it is 200 comma x and y coordinates i am just setting and my message i have given so then c dot so page now i am c sorry sorry c dot save 
that's all my code is ready now let me just run it once no error this is the location where my my underscore pdf file is created let's double click and open it so here it is the output is here let's change the font now we'll use one more so that is amr hindi regular so this font is there i have downloaded it and kept it inside the same font directory now i am just changing it to hindi here i am saying hindi so i will be calling it as hindi fine so let me save this run it once okay let's see the output here is the file i am just double clicking let's open this okay here is the output that's all friends hope you have a good learning experience and if you have any doubt suggestion questions use the comment section below to post it and my request is please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we add tutorials and we are frequently doing that also please share this with your friends and thank you for watching